what's wrong with me? Like, why am I so lost? If I can help all these people, why can't I help myself? Why am I still depressed? Why am I all these things? I look at my channel and I'm like, oh, the more I'm helping people, the worse I'm getting. Yes, 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 yes. There's so much that we can all take from that clip from the new Shane Dawson video, The Dark Side of Jake Paul. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve your mental health. And if you're somebody who is also a fixer, then you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I just finished recording another video about the dark side of Jake Paul, but when this ending happened, I'm like, I gotta record another video, all right? So there's gonna be some spoilers, okay? but. Shane Dawson sits down with Katie Morton. Katie Morton is a licensed marriage and family therapist here on YouTube. She's awesome, I check out her channel a lot to get a little bit more information on different disorders that I talk about here on my channel. And I'm trying to collab with Katie Morton, so if you wanna tweet at her, help a brother out. I would love to collab with Katie. But anyways, towards the end, he starts realizing that he is somebody who's trying to fix people. Like, I'll say this, when I was watching most of this video, like most people, so my last video was about like, don't run around trying to diagnose people or diagnose yourself as a sociopath. But as she was talking and like Shane did show some Tana clips, I was like, oh my God, like this sounds like a Tana clip, right? But like what you just saw right there between Shane and Katie is how therapy helps. It helps you realize things that you maybe didn't realize. Like Shane is very empathic, right? He feels for other people. He feels bad for other people. When people see somebody as a villain, Shane can empathize with them. Like empathy is a freaking amazing trait and I wish, I wish more people had empathy and just cared about everyone else. But there's a point where it, it goes overboard and we become codependent maybe or we get into bad relationships. But like Shane realizes is that when he's trying to help others, it's hurting himself. So I can definitely relate to what Shane was talking about as a child. So like his mom, um, she was going through some different struggles, but my mom was an alcoholic and drug addict, okay? Uh, actually, not, not so much a drug addict, mainly alcohol, so I don't know why I said that, but anyways. So like, my, my life as a kid was so, so hectic, and uh, my mom's actually clean and sober now. She's about to celebrate 13 years sober. I'm also sober six years, but as a child, like seeing her, like my mom was two different ways when she got drunk, homicidal or suicidal. Like I remember my mom threatening suicide, and everything like that. And when it's when it's your mom, like, it's such a difficult spot for any child of an alcoholic or an addict, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I loved her and I cared about her, but I hated her at the same time. But I wanted to help her, I wanted to fix her. And then I would look at myself like, why can't I fix her? You know what I mean? So as I got older and my mom and I had this rocky relationship, I started getting into relationships with people in my life who were like my mom. Okay, and this could be friends, this could be girlfriends, okay, because that was our comfort zone. Like, what we learn as a child carries on into our adulthood. So what Shane talks about with Katie for even that brief little bit, he talk, they talk about how he's been doing this since he was a kid. He wants to run around just saving people and fixing people. I think that is like, when I was a kid, you know, my mom was going through a lot and I felt like I had to be strong Mm -hmm. because she was like having trouble. So it was always like, oh, Shane's my rock. He's my support system. Oh, he's always strong. Now it's very interesting that he tries to save and fix the worst of the worst. You know what I mean? And that's subjective. Some people love Tana, some people love Jake Paul and all that kind of stuff. But Shane is drawn to those people. He, he has this amazing ability to look past all of the bad and find the good in people. But something that Shane's realizing as he's starting to learn more about sociopaths and stuff like that is that he might be getting manipulated. He might be getting manipulated by these people and now he needs to sit down and reflect. He has to reflect. So if you're somebody who can relate to some of this stuff, like you really, really, really gotta look at yourself as well. Therapy is a great option, a great, great, great option to start looking at this stuff or watching these videos. Like I make so many videos about YouTubers and things like that to try to get you to relate to it and say, oh, am I doing that? 
okay? Because we watch YouTube and other uh, media platforms in such a passive way. Like we gotta look and say, okay, how can I relate to this? Um, how how can I get help? What, what relationships in my life are doing this? So I think that a lot of people watching this, not only are they gonna start looking for sociopaths in their life, but I really hope that you guys are starting to see what Shane does. And I'm glad Shane talked about therapy. Now, the second half of this video, I'm gonna talk about how I really hope this happens. And like, so he says like jokingly, like, you know, we need to do a series about me fixing myself. Go to therapy myself. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of trying to give therapy to YouTubers, like I've been doing. Um, there is hope, don't panic. <laughs> Yeah, I might have to do a series just about you fixing me. <laughs> Maybe that is the series, jeez. Some, like an actual therapist fixing me. Cause like, yeah, that, that, wow. How long That'll be series? 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolutely. I would love that. And I think that would be his best series overall. Like, I do my channel and I am so grateful and fortunate for every single subscriber, but I, the only reason I care about subscriber numbers is because I want to get a message out there so I can help as many people as possible. And if Shane Dawson, if Shane Dawson did a series about him working through the therapeutic process with a therapist, oh my God. Like I can only imagine how many other people would seek out therapy, seek out help, find support groups and things like that. Like it would inspire so, so, so many people. Like it would just be like, because I'm all about mental health and trying to help people, like that would just be the best series to me. Now, here's the thing though. I've been watching Shane for a while. I've watched each one of his docu-series. And whenever he does a documentary series, he like kind of like talks about this, right? In some way, shape or form. So like, for example, when he was doing the series with Je uh, Jeffree Star, he talked about, he's like, you know what? I should make a makeup line, you know? And we should document the entire thing. Now, I don't know if he's gonna do it, but like when they just throw things out there. So I really hope, I really, really hope that Shane does this. But not only that, but like Shane is such an amazing person. And here's the thing that I try to teach the clients I work with, I had to learn this myself, is it's the old airplane analogy, okay? You gotta put your oxygen mask on before you can help anybody else. So something I, I, I mentioned in a different uh, Jake Paul and uh, Shane Dawson video was like, is Shane enabling people? Like, is Shane enabling people's behaviors? Like, whether Shane likes it or not, he's giving exposure to these people. Right? And if Shane's being manipulated, then they're just trying to meet their needs. You know what I mean? And in turn, Shane's suffering from this. And so he's going around, he's constantly trying to help people, he's trying to, constantly trying to fix people, constantly trying to fix situations. Like for example, with TanaCon, a lot of people noticed and talked about how like, why Tana was out like partying the night of TanaCon, like Shane was like on Twitter trying to answer questions. He was trying, he was meeting up with fans. He was meeting up with fans who were stuck outside and stuff like that. So like Shane's mental health is deteriorating because he keeps trying to clean up other people's messes. You know what I mean? So I, I hope to see in the rest of this journey, um, like I don't care about Jake Paul. I don't care, but Shane is such a good guy. And if he can learn to put his oxygen mask on by working through some of his issues, like he's going to be able to help so, so many more people. Like you guys think Shane helps people now? If he can improve his mental health, face the things that he faced in childhood and process them and work through them with a licensed professional, he is going to be such an amazing man. Like right now, like I know a lot of people think he's at a 10. If Shane goes through this therapeutic process, you're gonna realize Shane was actually like at a seven and now he's at a 10 once he goes through that process. So I really, really hope that he meets up with Katie Morton and I hope it inspires other people. Um, and if all this talk about therapy, if you're interested in therapy, like listen, my channel is supported by BetterHelp Online Therapy. There's a link down in the description below, but literally like do any type of therapy. If you have insurance and wanna go to someone in your area, cool. But with BetterHelp, it's all online. They have a sliding scale. So if you don't make that much, it doesn't cost that much. And basically the way it works is you fill out this entire questionnaire, Shane talked about it in his video, and they match you up with a licensed therapist. So if you struggle with depression and anxiety or PTSD or uh, 
uh, borderline personality disorder or <laughs> sociopath or narcissistic, uh, you know, tendencies or anything like that, like they will match you up with somebody. If you're LGBTQ, if you are an addict in recovery and things like that, like give BetterHelp a try. Like just go in, fill out the questionnaire. What they do is they match you up with a licensed therapist. I've had some people tell me like they're, you know, they see BetterHelp popping up on all these YouTube channels and stuff like that. And they're kind of like reluctant to trying BetterHelp. But as a mental health advocate, I would never support something that I didn't believe in. My girlfriend uses BetterHelp online therapy and like she was already amazing, but just seeing her growth and changes and tools that she has now, just working uh, with a therapist from BetterHelp for just a few months, like, it is amazing. She like texts with a therapist, they have calls, they have video calls. Her therapist is actually based here in Las Vegas, so they've met up a few times. So like seeing that right there, like I absolutely 1000% vouch for BetterHelp. So if you're interested in trying out BetterHelp, make sure you use the link down in the description below. It helps support the channel, helps me continue to make these amazing videos for you. All right, but if not, if not, just please do me a favor, do yourself a favor, do your family a favor, do your friends a favor, and find a therapist in your area and start working through some of your issues, especially, especially if you're a codependent fixer, okay? But anyways, I wanna hear from all of you down in the comments below. Can you relate to Shane Dawson about how he tries to help people, maybe even bad people, and how it kind of messes up his mental health? If you can relate to that, let's have a conversation down below and try to support each other, okay? But that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, if you are new, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification notification bell and a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon and if you want to check out the rewired soul merch shop click or tap on that icon right there all right thanks so much for watching fix yourself before you fix others and i'll see you next time